Welcome back. We have Vanessa Gamel joining us from Tumbleweed Toys, and we're talking today about traveling with the kids. It can be fun, but it can also test your patience. Uh, and I think we've all been there. Anyone with kids knows that it can get a little bit tough sometimes if there's a long drive involved. Uh, so you today, Vanessa, have some suggestions for staying sane on the road trips. Yes, I have three kids, so I know what it's like to do road trips. We've done a couple this summer already, and definitely you need to prepare. You do. So I've brought a couple things. I've got this cute little monster backpack, mm -hmm. which actually my kids have similar backpacks at home. They fill up for their little ride and a matching little water bottle too which is really cute okay super cute. all right so each kid has their own little bag and they can fill it with goodies this thing here is handy for traveling this is like a little lacing set oh. a classic yeah. you know like i remember doing this when i was a kid so yeah. you've got laces and all that you can use this little bag or you can throw it in something else but they can pull it out and they can sit in their back car seat there and Lace away. And then what do you do with them once they're all laced up? And take it out and start all over again. Hey, kids <laughs> do it 20 times. They will, they will. They, it's something that's really good for their fine motor skills. Yes. It's about three years and up, but yeah. like five, six years old, they can easily do that and they have fun. Crazy. fun. Yeah, keep them busy. Mm -hmm. uh, these little guys we've had before. Mm. These guys right. are the these suction are awesome. cup things. On they, the windows? And they can, yeah. I've had people buy them and say the airplane tray, if you're actually flying too, you can do that, but you can stick them on the windows, you can stick them together. And we've got them now in these little packs. So um, instead of buying the big, huge canister, I can't sit them down. These little guys here, you can get, something like that. Yeah. Packs. So little packs so of Just them. a little try me kind of pack. Everyone can have a little pack and then they right. can share them or whatever. As long as they don't make, this noise might make you crazy after a while, I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't not mind that noise. Bad. You just fun. listen to the music and try to ignore it. <laughs> exactly, crank the music in the front. You know what I do? I put the speakers on loud in the front and then the kids can chat in the back. Yeah, oh yeah, exactly. It's a survival thing, right? Totally, totally. or when they want their music, you just put it all in the back so yeah. you don't have to hear it. These are fun. <laughs> We've got these fun okay. little kaleidoscopes too. Ooh. This one here is Star Wars. So all the little kaleidoscope bits in there are like the TIE Fighter and the Death Star and all the little bits are kind of themed. And then this one's just a classic kaleidoscope with colored beads inside. So these are fun. The kids can sit there and look through them and look out the window. Do they make uh, like differences if you're looking into the light and so forth? Yeah, oh, for great. sure. And as you turn it, it always changes what it looks like and stuff. So that's kind of a fun little thing. They can pull out of the bag and play with that for that's a little awesome. bit. That's awesome. I like yeah, that. those are fun. Um, what, oh, this thing here. Ooh, Have you ever... Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still on the <laughs> This is awesome. awesome. This are. is very 1960s, right? Well, it is. I, ha I remember having a kaleidoscope. Yes, yeah, so I do too. Yeah. Okay. So this thing here. Go ahead. Have I'm fun. Like a sea urchin. <laughs> They're like a little slippery thing with, yeah, it goes to your hand over and over again. So you could sit in the back seat, look at the sparkly, <laughs> I know, exactly. Play with the sparkly fish thing. And it just goes to your hands over and over again as you're holding it. It keeps falling. So if you're good at it, so yeah. you can get good at it. Yeah, exactly. Those yeah, things fun. are super fun. And it's like a novelty thing. It's just, it's something fun and different. Fun. Yeah. Fun. As long as it doesn't blow up in the car. Yeah. It's don't just poke water. it with your pen or whatever. Right. <laughs> I know. I was just going to say. Um, That's a fun one. You had mentioned games. I do have games in here. And now these can be played in the back seat or you can just take them out like in a hotel room or at your campsite or whatever. So mm -hmm. this first thing is a card holder. So we sell a lot of these for kids. You know, when you're playing games, you get too many cards in your hand. Mm -hmm. Kids can throw their cards in the little holder. I don't know oh. if the back shows kind of oh. how it, they all fit in there. Right. Yeah. Good. So I have this for my son who's seven at home because, you know, you play whatever it is, go fish or whatever. Sure. And you get you're way too many cards them. in yes. your hands. So yeah, those are helpful. Didn't so know those existed. They're really good. Mm -hmm. They're really good. Yep. Yeah. So stuff like this, easy, classic games, go fish, mm -hmm. old maid, war. Yep. They're easy, throw them in your bag. And these ones are actually made for younger kids. So instead of numbers on go fish, it's colors yeah. and stuff like that. So those are easy. And then this one here, it's a card game of rock, paper, scissors. Mm. So, I mean, you could play rock, paper, scissors with your hands in the card, but you could play this too. Either. Okay, you know what? So much fun. This is it's all fit classic. into one backpack, by the way, but there's yes, more. Yes, that's the thing. You got to have your backpack filled up so that the kids stay busy. Now, the last is some of these on-the-go books, and I've had mm. some of these in before mm. as well. These are always a good go-to. These ones here, you fill up the pen with just water. Really, really good for young kids in the back seat. You don't have to worry about them coloring on the car mm -hmm. with a marker. This is just water. <laughs> 
So they color in on this picture and it changes color. Awesome. And because it's a thick card stock, it dries and you can use it over and over again. Very so nice. This is a good one. Never ending fun. And this one here is Magic Velvet. Do you remember? Big yes. velvet posters. Oh my. So now this is a little travel size velvet Ooh, thing. That's and it, fun. it actually has patterns that come out when you color on it with the markers. Really? But these are stickers. So they can color all these stickers in and then maybe stop and put them into a sticker book or whatever. So a lot you know what I like about a lot of this? A lot of it is nostalgic, but it has a new twist to it. Exactly. Right? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. They kind of modernized it mm -hmm. a bit. Here's one here. This is kind of up my one daughter's kind of alley. She likes to do her own thing, not necessarily color in the lines. She's a color outside the lines person. Mm -hmm. So this is more like the stuff you see in school, the lines and that. Mm -hmm. But these are magic color pens where it only colors on this kind of paper. Right. So she could draw her little, make a story, draw a picture and that kind of stuff. And Fantastic. Not make a mess. And then the last one I have isn't a coloring thing. This is a foil art. So this would be more like when you stop your car and you're staying overnight and you want something for them to do that's easy to take along. Foil art. So I don't have it open, but there we go. Oh, In here, you've got sheets of foil. And then on funny. the book, it's stickers. You peel off this and it's a sticky surface. You put the foil on, you rub it, and then the foil piece sticks. So you oh, make these fun. really pretty foil pictures. And there, there's been stuff like that around before. Like it's, yeah. I remember those kind of transfer things when I was a kid. So this in itself would get you all the way to Saskatchewan. Yeah. I'm sure of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Great there ideas here. And uh, all of this fitting into one backpack. Also, before <laughs> we go, uh, thank you, Marcel. Uh, sale at uh, Christmas in July. Yeah, tomorrow we're doing a big sale. We did this last year and it was a huge success. Mm -hmm. um, all the way from 9.30 until 4 o'clock, we're going to have 20% off everything in the store, minus Lego, Playmobil, and Calico Critters. Plus, we're going to have a huge selection of clearance items outside the store on tables. we got to blow it out. We're going to be packing up and moving at the end of August. That's very yeah. exciting. And where are you moving? Let's let the viewers know. Not far away from Not where you are. far at all. We're just going to be moving across the parking lot at the mall to where the Scotiabank used to be, right at the corner of Summit Drive and Columbia Street. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're making room for the new space, and mm -hmm. you are getting rid of things. So tomorrow, uh, some great yeah. deals. We are out of time. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Uh, so welcome. But again, yes, great sale on tomorrow, tumbleweed, tumbleweed toys. So go and check it out. We are back in two minutes. Stay with us.